Hi there, everyone. My name is Prerak Juthani, first year internal medicine resident at Stanford, previously did an MD MBA. And today I'm going to tell you a bit about why I picked the specialty that I'm in, which is internal medicine. And a lot of people may be wondering why this is the case. It's a very tough residency, but at the same time, there's so much in it and there's so much beauty to internal medicine that I genuinely can't see myself in any other specialty. And so let's go through why I personally think internal medicine is absolutely phenomenal. The first and biggest reason is the fact that I feel like I'm currently a jack of all trades, master of none. When I finished medical school, I loved everything. I loved every specialty. I loved every organ system. There wasn't one particular organ system that stood out above the rest. I loved the kidneys. I loved the heart. I loved the brain. I loved literally everything. And the fact that everything comes together to make the human body work was the part that was the most fascinating to me. It was super interesting that like a problem in the heart could manifest with some edema or pulmonary edema in the lungs. Sometimes it was really fascinating when you have COPD and that can actually push down on the diaphragm and that can sometimes cause abdominal issues. So the fact that everything was connected was the part about medical school that I loved the most. And that's actually one of the reasons I loved medicine the most. I loved biology because it just was so fascinating to see how every part of the human body connected. And when I say this, that's kind of why I think internal medicine was the perfect specialty for me because it spans a huge breadth right? It covers nephrology, cardiology, geriatrics, critical care. You learn a little bit of everything. And in the process, you also get to see, is there one of these that you want to do? Because many of you may know, if you want to become a cardiologist, you have to do three years of internal medicine training first. If you want to do a nephrologist, you have to do three years of internal medicine training first. So in a lot of ways, internal medicine is a very comprehensive field because even right now as I'm an intern, there are rotations I do in cardiology. There are rotations I do in nephrology. There are rotations that I do in hepatology, which is the liver. There are rotations I do in hematology. Like where else would that ever be possible? And when I do rotations in each of these things, I learn something new about that particular organ system. Now that brings me to my second reason why I did internal medicine, which is the fact that it's insanely dynamic. You learn a little bit of everything and each of those things can shape your career and like allow you to mold it in a unique way. It's almost like a Play-Doh of a specialty field because let's say you wanted to do healthcare administration. Internal medicine training is perfect because first of all, you're gonna learn the inner workings of the hospital. And then if you wanted to do leadership, you know exactly like the types of things that are happening in the hospital. You will take care of patients who go into surgery. You take care of patients when they come out of surgery sometimes. You take care of patients who need surgery. You take care of patients who uh, need uh, cardiology interventions like a cath, right? So because you do a little bit of everything, you get to see exactly what the hospital is capable of and the things that can be improved and the things that don't work as well. And because you learn about those inner workings, that's ultimately why you can also learn how to innovate in those fields. You can learn a little bit how to, how to innovate on in those fields. Like if you think about cardiology, there are things like TAVRs that are happening, aortic valve replacements. There are things like pacemakers. Even in nephrology, there are places where if there's renal artery stenosis, we might need to intervene there, right? So there's so many ways that you can obviously learn, but there's also ways to innovate because there's, each field has so many minute details. And of course, if you really still wanted to just be a hardcore doctor, internal medicine is one of the best ways to do that, right? Like you could become a cardiologist um, who studied for 12 years and then sees patients full time. You could become a hematologist or oncologist who sees only benign hematology patients. That's totally still an option for you. But the good part is the three years of training that you get sets you up for an option like that, but it also sets you up for an option like healthcare leadership, healthcare administration. And it's three years of training that's such an expansive breadth that it, it's very exciting. It's hard, but it's exciting, right? And now the next reason, third reason, there's four total, is I personally did internal medicine because it ruled out the least things for me in my career. A lot of things that you do will rule out a lot of other things. So if you, if you were going to do neurosurgery, you can say goodbye to ever really thinking about the heart. You can say goodbye to ever really thinking about the kidneys. Of course, you would have to still think about them, but most of your efforts are going to be on very, very sick people who have things that need to be operated on in the brain, right? On the other hand, internal medicine rules out the least, right? There's no way you could be a neurosurgeon without doing surgery, but you can be an internal medicine person who could end up doing a ton of procedures or no procedures at all. 
You could be an interventional cardiologist. You don't have to be an interventional cardiologist. You could be an interventional um, palm, palm crit doctor, and you could totally not be a palm crit doctor, right? So there's so many like minus like minutia of those that internal medicine is kind of like gonna keep all of those open. You could do a short amount of training versus doing a long amount of training. If you want to be just a hospitalist, which is what I'm interested in, that's three years. If you want to be a interventional cardiologist, that's eight years. If you want to be a person who looks like EKGs, that's another eight years. If you want to be a oncologist who does specific types of cancers, that's another six years after med school, right? So lots of things. You could do intense medical schedule versus a more lax schedule. You could work 80 hours a week. You could work 30 hours a week. Of course, your pay is going to suffer, but it's up to you and you get to pick that, right? You could be in the hospital. You could be outside the hospital. You could be a heavily inpatient doctor, or you could be a primary care outpatient doctor. Um, and as I said, you can always still take the traditional route, which is to become a specialist. Um, and then I guess last but not least reason why I did internal medicine, it's because in my eyes, this is what it meant to be a doctor. Growing up, this is what I thought a doctor was. The focus on the physical exam. You listen to the heart, you listen to the lungs, you have to figure out what's going on. Something in the kidney could come up as a problem in the lungs. Something in the lungs could come up as a problem in the liver. Something in the liver could come up as a problem with some abdominal symptoms, right? You literally have cover every organ system in internal medicine. And I think understanding the health is far more important than understanding just the disease as well. And that's something you learn in internal medicine. You don't just worry about, hey, this is the disease, this is how we're gonna treat it. You also have to worry about, how is this patient gonna get home? What is the situation they live in? Do they have access to food? Do they have access to housing? Do they have access to someone who could help them with these things? And if they don't, that's still your problem because you as a doctor have to make sure that what you do inside the hospital is able to be replicated outside the hospital. And that's a uniquely internal medicine problem. And I see it as a good thing because I do think that's a big part of healthcare. And um, a person is more than just their medical condition. Um, and at the end of the day, it's, it's honestly one of the most incredible specialties. I don't think I could see my, myself anywhere else, even though it's an insanely tough residency. So hopefully this all gave you an insight into why I picked internal medicine. If you have any questions, drop them below. If this helped you, please drop a like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.